Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about bait care. We'll go through the different types of bait and how I take care of it. We'll start out first with crawlers. Uh, when I'm fishing, I actually like to keep my crawlers on ice. Um, so I'll keep it in a cooler sometimes with ice blocks, but I will also use this crawler container. What's really nice about that is I can actually put ice in the top and it really is um, uh, really a big compartment. And then you have a smaller compartment and that's actually where the night crawlers will be in there with their bedding. So when I fill this up in the summer months, most of the time I can at least get a half a day of coolness to my crawlers. But you can also put it in a cooler. So uh, when I pick up crawlers, most of the time they come in dirt and a very fragile container. What I will do is I will move them to a more stable container, which this is a butter container. You got many different containers that you could use, but that's what I like to do. Um, and then what I like to do is get the crawlers out of the dirt because when we're fishing in the boat, I prefer to have uh, bedding because bedding is very clean in the boat and you can easily vacuum it up versus getting dirt marks all over the carpet. So what I'll do is use this bedding and then what I'll do is take non-chlorinated water and get a uh, somewhat uh, wet consistency uh, to the bedding. Number one thing is just make sure it's non-chlorinated because if it's chlorinated and you put it in bedding, the crawlers most likely will pass away in a week to two weeks. Um, then to take care of my crawlers, uh, what, what I'll do is I'll actually put worm food then in once a week. So uh, there's many different bait companies. Uh, here I'm using Frable's uh, worm food, but there's many bait companies that have worm food. And what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do is just sprinkle it right across the top. And those, uh, those crawlers or worms will come up and they'll feed on it. So that's basically how I take care of my night crawlers. Uh, the next bait of choice is leeches. For leeches, I'll typically go to a store and I'll buy a half pound of leeches. Then what I'll do is take it out of the container, a small fragile container, and I'll throw it into uh, a quart size glass container. I'll fill this up with, again, non-chlorinated water. So you could do lake water, you could do uh, well water, uh, you could use uh, bottled water. Uh, so what I'll do is fill this up. I will keep this in the refrigerator because uh, by keeping this cold, it actually takes these leeches and makes them dormant. When I go fishing then, what I'll do is the first time I go with the new leeches, I'll put them in a second container. And then what I will do is I will never take the leeches that I come back from my fishing trip and actually put them in here. I will keep these completely separate from the ones I've used before. Um, what I'll do is use that container then and just add some from here into there. The reason I don't want to introduce the leeches that we're fishing is just in case they got warm, um, they might not be as fertile as these. How do I clean these leeches? On a weekly basis, what I will do is I will actually take the water and dump this into the leech bag and actually clean that out. You know, clean the leeches, rinse them out, and then I'll put new clean non-chlorinated water in here, dump the leeches out of the bag into the container, and we're all set with leeches. The next thing I'd like to talk about is minnows. So, um, this is the old minnow bucket, you know, where you used to just keep it floating in the water. Well, you know, we've had these new improved minnow buckets for a long time now. Nice thing about these minnow buckets is we got an aerator in there. These are consisting of styrofoam, which allows you to keep the water cool. Um, this is the aerator. This takes 2D batteries. With 2D batteries, you would be able to run this for about 36 hours. Um, so most of the time it's good for my whole fishing trip, even a second fishing trip. I always keep a spare set of batteries just in case uh, it dies. 
Uh, same thing here. Uh, just keep the water cold. Uh, some tips what I, I would do is um, if the water is getting warmer and you have ice, throw the ice in there to take care of it. Uh, the one difference about minnows is minnows you aren't going to keep, you know, for a long period of time. So you could introduce, you know, ice that might be chlorinated in there and they'll be all right for a period of time. So that's how I take care of my minnows. Then the final bait that, you know, we're using right now for perch fishing is... Um, we're using Thunderbugs Helgamites. Um, and uh, basically what we do there is uh, we just uh, keep the water clean. Um, every couple days, look at it and make sure that there's none of them that are dead or that the water isn't stingy. Change the water, keep the water, uh, keep the water uh, clean. And by taking care of all these tips here, this will keep your bait lasting longer. Uh, so this is Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us. Please follow us and like our Facebook page. Again, learn with the number two fish with us.